The year 2020 has seen record levels of security and well-being thanks to JustCo's latest laws. Thanks to JustCo, non-adults can no longer roam the streets in groups, shock the public with outrageous clothes, or annoy them with their music. JustCo, we care. Are you scared of non-adults walking around with hoodies that obscure their faces? For your safety and protection, JustCo are proud to announce non-covered head areas. JustCo, we care. Alright everybody, welcome to State of Debate. This is a BBC bite-sized game. I'm not really sure what it is, so let's discover together. Uh, it's the year 2020. It's the March 20th, and, um, oh, close to 4 p.m. Not too bad. Okay, you've been spotted wearing an illegal hoodie. Use your arguing skills to bluff your way around the law. Of the law. But don't lose your cool. You might get arrested. All right, then. 2020 is a weird year. Wait, I thought it was just... Oi! Where do you think you're going dressed like that? What? What? What do you mean, sorry? Do you realise how scary old folks find your hoodie? But you're an old... This part of town is a designated NCHA. That's a non-covered head area. Oh. Now, what's your excuse for breaking the law then, eh? You new to this area? Or are you just looking for trouble? I, I, I knew. I mean, oh, I can select options. Cool. Option one. It's a present from my auntie. She handmade it especially, so I gotta wear it. If I don't, she'll be upset with me. That doesn't seem likely now, does it, if it's illegal? Yeah. And you, you could just not wear the hood part. Yeah, not, not happening. Okay, option two. I'm feeling ill, and it's the warmest jumper I got. I know it's tech not technically allowed, but it's hardly intimidating, is it? Well, she just said it is, so that doesn't seem likely either. Option, th option three. This law's stupid. Why should I have to wear stuff I don't like? What's wrong with wearing a hoodie anyway? She... Dude, she said that old people find that very frightening. And... Well, it's not actually a good point to bring up, but someone has been killed just for wearing a hoodie in the United States, so, yeah. Wait, there's only three, and they're all bad? Darn. Uh, I should probably have subtitles. Um, yeah, whatever. Hmm. That first one doesn't even seem likely, because why would your aunt make something illegal? I'm feeling like the first part there is fine. I guess th I, this one, neither of these are good, to be honest. Mm, you don't look ill to me. Open your mouth and say, ah. Oh. Mm. Are you a Sounds licensed right. doctor? No need for an NCHA exemption in my mind. And if you're so ill, what are you doing outside anyway? What's wrong? The okay, option one. What's wrong? There's a law preventing people who feel ill to go outside now as so well. Surely wearing a hoodie is such a minor offense that it's not worth wasting your time on, is it? Option two. I've just been to the doctor. I've got to get this prescription now. If I take this off, I'll be going against the doctor's advice. Like I said, I know it's like being wrong, but it's the warmest jumper I got. Just going to see a friend. I don't want to go at all, thing like this, but we're organizing a Charity. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Kids going for charity. Sure. Sure. Uh, and I want to make sure everything is ready for the big day. And there's nothing particularly wrong with my throat. It's more aches and pains than anything else. I really like number two, to be honest. Like, this This one is just really attacking, you know? That, that, that won't help. I think I'll be option two again. Hmm. 
Well, you shouldn't really be wearing such a garment in a restricted NCHA zone. But I'll let you off this once. Sweet! Made enough valid points to fool the regulator. Still looking good. Oh, look, it's all green and shiny. Because I did it. Next scene. Sick and tired of seeing youngsters wearing their jeans too low. Like to see them wearing a belt like the good old days. Support Jusco. We've made it an offence to show your pants in public. Jusco. How, how could you see that he was wearing decency. pants or belts? What? You've been spotted again showing your pants in public. <laughs> oh, man. Can you make a reasonable argument to avoid the rest for a second time this week? No, it's... Wait, 22nd? They're moving quick, that just go, man. They're moving in, making all sorts of laws. Oh, dear. Oh, her again. If only you could see what I see. Playing dress up, are we? What's happened to your jeans? Looks like you need to eat more or invest in a belt. You can't go around like that, you know. It's an offence to show your pants in public. Option one. <laughs> this is this is ridiculous. Um, well, it's my choice, and I wear what I think suits me best. I wouldn't have worn these if they weren't really cool. I can see why I wouldn't want you wearing them. That, that, that's a strange one. I can see why I wouldn't want you wearing them. Like, are you going to give her your pants? That That's pretty bad. Okay, option two. I think they've slipped a bit. Easy to do when you're in a hurry. Oh, this is a British game. The pants are... Okay, underpants. I was being like, what? You can't wear, like, jeans and stuff? Okay, but that makes more sense. Right. I think they slipped a bit. It's to do when you're in a hurry. If I pull them up a bit at the back, they'll look fine. There you go. That should look alright. I know it doesn't look great, but I'm wearing them tonight to raise money for... What's up with all this charity options? What? We thought if we all... What? People would be happier to sponsor us if we all dress up as odd as possible. Sure. Um... Like... I don't think she'll be happy with option two, but I think it's a lot better than option one, because that's just being rubble, and that's not going to help you anyway. Yep, option two. The law's not about looking all right. The 2014 Act prohibits exposure of undergarments. And that's exactly what you were doing, parading around with your pants on show. You think it's okay to run down the road, waving a gun in the air, and then put it away afterwards? Exactly. Well, that's what you've said about your jeans. They've slipped. You've shown everyone here your pants. And now you've pulled them up again. You think that's all right? You broke the law. Okay. Well, I knew I had to go that way, because she's a regulator after all. Option one. You're right, I did break the law, and I'm not pretending everything is okay now. In fact, I'm offering to go straight home and solve it by throwing these jeans away. If I do that, then there's no reason for it to happen ever again. I just thought pulling them up would solve the problem, that's all. You see, they don't look bad now. In fact, they look pretty good to me. What do you think, eh? Dude, 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 no, no. Don't, don't try to show off and be cool. <laughs> Never gonna go. Okay, option three. Come on, you can't seriously compare my jeans slipping down a bit to running down the road with a gun. That's ridiculous. <sighs> yeah, probably not gonna work either. <laughs> option one is... Yeah, kind of crazy. Just ah, I'm just gonna burn my pants when uh, my jeans. Sorry, but I get home. No worries. But I think that's the best one, to be honest. Okay, 
Well, you better get going then. Dang. So I think both times I probably chose wrong on the first question, but then I managed to save it. It looks like it anyway. Not bad. Fed up of Jusco's anti-music laws. Want to play music in public legally? Well, now you can. Buy a band now. Right. Okay. Two days. Oh, you reached a new. I oh, got a new band man. Band man. Music in the skies. All right. It's just not your week. You've just received a brand new band man. And I are. You, oh, yeah, you are. And are happily going about your business, listening to some tunes when a regular spots you. She seems to have it in for you. How can you argue your way out of this one? What's that you've got there? That better not be a sound stick. They're really annoying, not to mention illegal. They're banned if you don't have a permit. And you're too young to have a permit, aren't you? So you're going to get into trouble right away. No permit, no player, that's what I tell them. No permit, no player. Wait, but why? Uh... Okay. After one, this is a band man. It's different. I've already got a sound stick at home. I wouldn't have bought another one. Now, is the license to keep a sound stick or to have it in public? That's the question. And wouldn't you think a stick and a band around your hand would be pretty different? Maybe she's just not that technical. She doesn't have much knowledge about technology. I don't know. After one, this is a bandman, not a sound stick. Take a look. See, there's the bandman logo, and that's how you Bluetooth. You don't have to wire it up like your average high street portable music player. This is a bandman, not a sound stick. They might seem the same and have similar features, but this one is a new type of player, which doesn't need a license. Now, what we saw at the beginning was that a commercial or just information? Because maybe you do need a license for a band man. Maybe? I don't know. Like, this seems kind of bad you say that they're kind of the same. Because then she's going to say, well, that should be banned too then. Uh, option two. Showing the band man logo might be good. Hmm. This seems kind of bad to say you have a sound stick already. Let's try option two. Don't push it with me. Give it here. Now, tell me. Does it or does it not play music in public? Yes, it does play music in public, but the law you're talking about doesn't ban music. All it bans are portable music players without the permit. I know that it seems odd to allow a band man, but the law is the law. Option two. Yes, it does play music in public, but I told you already, it's not a sound stick. Read what it says on the side there. There you go, Bandman. If it was a sound stick, it would say sound stick and not Bandman. Option 3. Yes, it does play music in public, but it's a Bandman. They have just come out and they are really cool. They're much better and quicker to use than a sound stick. Oh yeah, let me just do some marketing here for Bandman so we can get a few more sales. Because you obviously love music in public. Only $45.99. No. Um, I guess talking about the law is the best one. Because she doesn't care what brand it is. It seems like. So let's try option one. It looks the same to me. Off you go then, but don't let me catch you again. Well done, you really demonstrated how good you are at arguing this week. You've shown you are responsible and consider different viewpoints. You can make contrast and reach conclusion, but you don't get angry or distracted. Regulators beware. This is a long game, man. All permits are now reduced in Jusco's mid-season sale. Mobile phone permits reduced from 120 euros to 100 euros. Picnic permits reduced to 170 euros. 
Get these bargains and many, many more at JustGo approved post offices while stocks last. Uh, it's been a few more days now, like about a week. Your loser mate has got no money again. Oh, what a wacko. What a silly guy. He's always sponging off you, and you have had enough. Give him some advice about how to earn a bit of cash. But be careful, he won't appreciate the lecture. Alright. Hey, I've uh, run out of money. Don't suppose you could lend me some? What? <laughs> you won't lend me any money because I spend it on the wrong things. <laughs> Is there a right and wrong way to spend money? You're worse than the regulators. Without any money, I can't buy any permits. Without any permits, I can't go out at all ever again. Is that what you want? The video just cut before I could say the rest. Wow. Oh, that's good. Okay. Option one. Come on, cheer up. It's the same for me. Sometimes I got some cash, sometimes not. Anyway, something will come along. I am your friend, but if you continue like this, then I won't be for long, you know? Why don't you do something else other than to moan? You get a part-time job or see if you can save some money each week. Hmm. I think make, making threats are not good and making ad or telling him advice on how to get money is probably not good. So let's try option one. What the heck? All I need is some cash. I don't need your lectures on how to spend it. How about I lend you some money, but only if you go out and find a part-time job. You never know. It might be something interesting, like reviewing movies for a movie man. I know that what movie man is. Just go and get that job, hey? Give us all a bit of peace around here, come on. You'll be waking up the neighborhood with all the yelling. Then you can pay your own way when we go out. I'm fed up of subbing you all the time. It's business now. Well, it's tough. Because there is a right and wrong way of spending money. You don't seem to have any idea at all. I'm not lending you any more money. I've had enough. So either you tell him to get a job or you tell him how to save up money and spend it well. I don't know, man. Neither of those seem good. It's a tough situation. Like, this is bad because he's going to lend the money and not get a job. I guess it's a sort of compromise. Let's just try. Sounds great to me. As long as you've got the money to spare. I'll make a real effort and I'll get a job as soon as I can. Wow. Well done. It looks like your mate has taken your advice. Your money lending days are nearly over. Okay. Hair starting to get long and out of control. Visit Tiffany's for regulator-approved haircuts. Bring the whole family and get a family party voucher for Spudman. Tiffany's. Family. And we'll look at that next episode. See you then.